Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host Mr. Mukulover as we're playing Manifest Hope in the 5.0 update Early Access Ashes of Embers um, in which if you'd like to try this out for yourself it'll be released on uh, February 28th, 2024. Uh, regardless, um, I replayed this first episode because it took us a while. It took us until 2277. Replayed it and actually did better overall with fewer divisions. Um, took out the power armor first from Stoon, which helped out a whole bunch. Uh, but it's September 19th, 2276. So we haven't done all the focuses that we've done as we did in the last episode. So we're actually ahead of time right now, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and beat up the Blighted Woods a little early. So we might have a couple focuses here and there that... You know, we've read it before, and I might read it again. We'll see what happens, just because uh, that's good. I've got a welcome to Army 2, so let's, we're going to go on him, because I don't know how many divisions they have. Up to three. That'd be nice. And I got a little more efficient at it, because, I don't know. I didn't like how things turned out. At least off screen, so. Because I was trying things out, and then I, we were getting defeated by other various different neighbors and whatnot, but, you know, it is what it is. Destruction of Ranger Citadel, well, that's fast. Uh, go and go through there. And coded signals are nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going with this? Oh, Kingdom of Manitoba is gone. Goodbye. And this way, hey, you know, I complained a lot last time about how we kept getting raided by these guys. Well, looks like they can't raid us this time. Which is very nice. Now, we can still go to War of the Iron Confederacy, State of Moose Jaw. Um, but we do have to be prepared for the Duchy of Longenburg. Because the Duchy of Longenburg will eventually come and try to kill us. We do not have enough divisions to fight them, unfortunate. Um, so, oh, I forgot we had Recon on here. You know what? We're going to, like, maximize this as much as we can. We need as many of these divisions out as possible. We're going to need a lot of fair equipment. Um, but they did help us with our scrap, which is very good, too. So, we're going to try to maximize our fair equipment. Because I'll be honest, I was playing this off screen, and we did okay. You know, trying to play in this off screen and whatnot. And we just did not have enough divisions against these guys in the south. So, that's our focus is to maximize how many fairies we can put out in the field. Obviously, we don't have a general here yet. Uh, we, probably should, we probably should get a field commander. Maxwell's own. Hot-blooded. Enduring. Intelligent. Sounds like a perfect leader for our special forces. So, if you'd like to read again, hope for the future. Please go right ahead. With Maxwell Chase gone, strange communications. Which is fine. And we're going to continue going down this way, this way, this way. I want more fairy stuff immediately. So, preparing in secret. This will be good, too. Hurts our command power right now, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, we need straight-up arms workshops. The source of his management, though. We could read about that one. Deborah Walsh may be a ro robo-brand, but she's not fully incapable. If anything, you'd imagine her computation skills would be off the charts. Her mismanagement of the power plants not only led to intense rioting, but also led to severe debris accumulation from a bizarre hoarding. We must clean this up and fast. Which would be great. As I do want to go to war with these guys. They do have two units of power armor, which is kind of not good for us. And that's going to take a long time and a lot of political power to kill these guys off. Huh. But we did get a trade note, so that's a, a very good benefit for taking those guys out. So, there you go. Strange communications, which I read last time. But, oh, there you are, Hope. When you first learned of, uh, oh, God, I'm sorry. Uh, hmm. Mr. Chase's death, I'd hopes, haha, that you would find yourself at the seat. It's my understanding that you prefer to be guided, is that correct? Well, me and my associates have a few things we could really use your help with, and in exchange will help you too. Let's talk business. Oh boy, I hope this will be good. And we got that extra division, which is nice. I'll throw them for special forces right there. And we can do that as well. Very good. Anything else? Robots? I mean, maybe, but we're going to really focus on the fairies. Fairies! So, we're going to do that. And Chase University, I did say I want more armors workshops, because we need them. We absolutely need them. Um, but I, I want that research slot. Mm. Yeah, as much. Oh, you know what? We're still gonna get that one, two, one up. Anything else here? Dynamite? Yeah, that'd be pretty nice. But we're gonna really hammer home fairies. Fairies, fairies, fairies. I feel like, was it, was it Daniel Crocker from like Fairly Odd Parents? Fairies! Uh, but in the meantime, the sock bomb. Max always told me, honey, I wanted to protect this place. If I die, and protect it, I will. Each of those machines will prevent anyone from hurting us. Preparing a secret. Just because we like to play NASA doesn't mean we have to play NASA all the time. <laughs> Pleasant Dose Power Plant. Pre-recorded message from Maxwell Chase. Subject, we like to keep the lights on, please. Let's get one thing straight. We're not animals. We like we keep light or to, or we fight to keep the lights on around here. And unlike some pre-war Yahoo's, I don't get to throw caps at some doofus at the plant, hope for the best. We had to make our own, so that being said, we have to make sure it actually stays on, or else we're just another junkerville and the blizzard waiting to die. Oh, and the power goes out, and you see Deborah. You hit her on that dome of hers so hard her brain does a somersault. Don't worry. She won't hit you unless you tell her you wanted her to do it. If you don't say anything and just give her the old drive-by, she'll know it was for me. This guy's a real leader. 
So we still need 600 some because we want to make at least six more divisions. That'll be ideal. As we begin another scavenging program as well. Other than that, we're looking pretty good on everything except motorized. So we don't really have a need to do this to buy stuff. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway just in case we need it later on. Stoon should be decent. Oh, it's in a Bay Company. Yeah, beginner out. Very nice. Anything else down here? No. Consumer goods. Or propaganda. It's not bad overall. Fuzzy dice, huh? Division attrition. What else though? would be bad down here? Breakthrough and assault. Breakthrough and motorized, hard, motorized attack. Hollow girls. Half a chocolate bar rations. It's, eh. Nothing really like, wow, I've got to get that. Whetstones are not bad, but it hurts their relations. Uh, how to hunt Mirelurks? That's not bad. Family Vaults? Raid Defense Bonus, interesting. Kingpin Greed? That's not great. Trade Knowledge? Yeah, I mean, maybe Production Boost? That's not bad. But, you know, it's all okay. It's not fantastic. It's not like, wow, we have to have that, you know? Oh, this one. Yep, because we need those arms workshops pretty much immediately. And what else we got around here? And you know what? We could use more stability. 13%. It's not great. It's just not great. So, and I've read, you know, I've read a few of these focuses earlier, but you know what? I want to make sure that we actually get everything done. And we're going to need some serious anti tanker because this is not going to be easy to beat these guys up to. So that's definitely what we got to do next. After a vacuum tubes, no matter what, we got to get anti tank going. Guys are still trying to put down resistance. Great Stampede is beating up Battle Fur, which is pretty normal at this point. King of Manitoba is going to be nice and thick because they will demand territory from us. They will demand the Hudson Bay City ruins eventually. So we got to move fast ish if we can. Anti tank next. That's pretty thick. Oh, look, we love drugs. Yeah, there's quite a few divisions here. And I'll expect the power armor to be very good, but it's still power armor, and it's still early game. So, what do you expect? Uh, so we get a pacify in the week. Make no mistake, I'm a pacifist first and foremost, and this is why we must make sure others pacify too, but we have the duel. To the state to hold allegiance to the electorate. We are men and women of wising tongues, and but we hold no words left for you and your kind. To this end, we'll issue the duel. If you so desire to bring pain, then shall issue you some greater. You have one month, then we march upon your own den of iniquity. Your people will do well to flee, and we are not. We will not fight a people unreadied. May the best of us win. The giant turns his face, which I think is a great stampede. Could be wrong, but I think it's a great stampede. So, but the dealing with destiny, which we read it the last time. So we read about this. Please go right ahead. Boop. Man, rebel territories. Reclamation authority. Very nice. And hey, another fairy mission. Fantastic. Now, hmm. I want to get to new recruits first. Are there? Right there, look at that. Fantastic. So, demand a rifle territories. Will they give it to us? They see it to us. Following our ultimatum, the Howling Wolf, the Iron Confederacy, has seen wisdom and related message accepting our territorial demands. Confederacy soldiers have withdrawn from the border and our own troops have rapidly moved to occupy the contested territory. But that situation remains since the border. From now, war between the two countries has been averted. Look at that. Not too shabby. Now we're out of manpower again. Not good, but we've got plenty. We've got actually quite a bit of support equipment. But then we'll have the Securing Manifest North. Hope, now that you have reclaimed Manifest North, we will send some assists, some agents to assist with securing it for future use. Should be good. And the troublesome Yorktons. The Yorktons have been a pain in our side for quite some time. We ask that you deal with them to honor your end of the deal. Which is incredibly difficult for us to do. Which is why I want to make all these fairy divisions. Because these guys, they don't cost a ton of manpower. This is 115. Um, spec Ops for reference right now costs us 110. And they're bigger though. <laughs> These guys cost 125 for being smaller. So we got to get all that stuff done. And what not. Uh, you know what? Uh, Chase University? Uh, founded by Gloria Chase in 2263, Chase University produced some of the brightest minds of the electorate time and time again, including the infamous Timothy Little Hope. While his death led to a brief time of calamity within the collegiate, we recently started getting back to business. And I'm waiting forever to do this because I want that core first. And then we'll do it. For a little bit of negative political power, but getting that core faster is, I think, worth it. Closing down Pierre's. Pierre Jones has always been a thorn on the Chase family's side, though he's become a great real estate magnate in his time in light of recent events. We just can't afford to let his company keep business up. Maybe they can find opportunity in Dundurn. Oh, thank goodness we got that. So here, uh, organization, I just 
flat organization. I mean, that would help us with manpower eventually, with having more HP potentially. I don't know about soup a lot, but you know, it'll be what it'll be. It's not bad. Yakima Chase University and the good works of Timothy Little Hope. Timothy Little Hope's uh, Little Hope Doctor remains a source of controversy even today. Even so, his teachings have continued to only grow in popularity. If we to ask Gloria Chase what made him so special, she would of course cite her own university. Yeah, of course. So we definitely want that one too, but honestly, if they're going to demand territory from us, we have to give it to them, because we just can't hold on. We just can't do that, so. We're still just fine. We are. It's good. And honestly, we gotta start producing some anti tanks. So. Do we have any anti tank right now? We have none. That's not ideal. How many cats we got? 130. That's not too bad. Lane of Prospectors. Civilian Unrest. Just save up for a few days. That's fine. Local workspace is good. Closing down Pierre's. Hey, another division? Yes, please. My god, do we need them so badly? It's not funny. And then what? Yeah, the research slot would be good. Research efficiency gain would be nice. I mean, we're lacking nothing now, which is good, so we don't have to run towards that just yet. Consumer goods would be good. Passive caps income is not bad. Intellectuals would be good. Armors workshop is only one, but better special forces equipment. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, grand reopening West Wing anyway. So, oh, this is what we gotta do grand reopening. The West Wing of Manifest Saskatchewan is transferred into the primary sources of the fairy program now. With new minds in the mix, who knows what we can do? So, they're gonna go to war with Middlemark. We're gonna save real quick because I don't know if uh, the Great Stampede is gonna go to war with us next. I wouldn't mind if these guys did attack us. We can maybe get some more HP that way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we're, we're losing very heavily here. Okay, that's really not good. Get back over here. Wow. They are hitting us hard here, aren't they? I just see it tested out. You know, I, you never know. I suppose we can't really defend well against them, huh? No, we're losing pretty heavily to them. Wow. This is pretty bad. They're taking quite a few casualties themselves. Uh, let's get some more support. No, you hold. And then they stopped attacking. Which I don't understand. It's quite interesting of a move they did. You both go in there, see what you can do. There you go. Now you're gonna start winning. So now if you guys there, it's fine. You gotta keep them busy. Good. We're just here to kill this division off, really. That's all I really care about. Nice. You're still winning. You can't pierce them, which is why we need that anti tank. And good. There you go. Just hold. Let him come back in. It's fine. And what else? War propaganda would be nice. Why not? Are you getting attacked here? No. Honestly, I'm going to do this. I'm going to shove them over here, too. I want them to come in here so they can spread down here, maybe, and then we can cut them off, perhaps, some more. Plant cultivation? Not bad. Uh, let's come over here. Radio yeah, would be nice. Yeah. I don't really want to spread out too much. Give them opportunities to attack us some more. And there they go. You'll have to do with this. Which is why, uh, honestly, we, we just can't handle it. I'll be honest. Like... But that's so many divisions. And we only have 11, 12. We cannot garrison this entire thing, so... Yeah. Return to disputed territories. No, you can have it. So if we do that... Do we lose anything else here? Control some Yorktons? We get sort of cut off here, so... It was an experiment to see what we could do here. And they might continue to demand more territory from us, which would not be ideal. Because they took all this stuff, too. So, did save us a little bit of manpower. No, nope. go back here. Yeah, you all retreat. Oh. 
grand reopening, that's fine. And what else we got around here? Was there uh, workshops? Those are slot. Oh. They just have a ton of divisions, but they might not attack us. They've actually lost more guys than we've lost. Interesting. Let them move around first. Oh, of course they have the power over there. Oh, what else we got? It's a little ahead of time. A little ahead of time. We're still working on this. One more defense is not bad. Song for the front. Well, more war sports, shall we? Yes, we shall. Well, we can't get over there, which kind of sucks. And you're gonna do this too, then. All right. This is pretty much what I thought would happen, so. It was just an experiment to see if we could do this or not. If not, I mean, then we can't beat up the Iron Confederacy. We'll move somewhere else. Maybe we'll go towards the Metis Congress. Maybe we'll go towards the state of Moose Jaw, maybe. Uh, hoping well, though. I believe we can do this. Even without Mr. Chase, we can use the Red Fern for good both scientifically and otherwise. And what else do we want here? Production. That's not bad. It's not super necessary. We didn't really do this one last time, too. The White Birch Society. And Pleasantdale. There's a fighting society of folks, one which even Hope is privy to, with ladies, gents, and all the other peoples of the White Birch Society. Fighting themselves in the big game hunting and secret parties, they're quite tightly knit with the Spectral Cabal, and their ties run deep in their city's blood. Pushing for contractors. Why well, take a page from Dunder's books? There are plenty of contractors within and without every city that would love to take a spin at fixing up some of our older factories. And approaching inner city architects. Maxwell Chase's interesting philosophies attract many Asian jaded architects from the Manitoban monarchy. Why don't we book them for what they can do? Dusting up protocols. Plenty of old code that's unfinished is just sitting around. Performance enhancements and the like, why don't I give it a quick smooch and see it, it on its way? Uh, grand reopening, East Wing, finally. Somewhere's gotta outfit people. Very nice, and two more arms workshops would be fantastic. Actually, is this security robots and combat robots, but does that add to, like, fairies? It is, I don't think so. I guess we can do this one too, but we don't have to do this one next immediately. Uh, ooh, more drugs, yay. Let's see, what do we really need? Well, I guess we did do this one last time, so we'll go with the next with the White Birch Society. Because I would like to get to the fineries of rich society. Commerce is king, and boy, do we have commerce to go around. And then the John Smith's lo lovely Hunter's Club. The White Birch folks look to one of our finest. A man named John Smith, who serves neither state nor country, nor prefers to spend his time at a private log cabin near the Saskatchewan. Invites have been sent to the most illustrious to beg them to come north and have a gas. So right now, we have, we're out of anti-tank, and honestly, we're just kind of hanging out. So we've lost this territory up here. We're, at, I guess, technically still at war with the Iron Confederacy, which is not great. The Kingdom of Manitoba has not been fighting us yet, which is good. They will come for us eventually, though, so we must be prepared. We only have 13 divisions, 10 of them being fairies, but I did increase our Delta in combat width, so it's slightly getting better. It's not great still. Um, we cannot go to war with Governor of Moose Jaw because they have just too many divisions in the south. Safe Haven, and actually Cab Cultures or whatever that is, actually survived the Great, the great Stampede. Kind of weird. Kind of unique. Kind of cool, actually, seeing that. Uh, but we're justifying on the cab vultures, well, I guess not cab cultures, but cab vultures, um, and we have about 19 days left, because we have to expand in some direction. We have to get bigger, better, and just stronger. So, uh, that's what we're doing. In the meantime, mm, woke up to army's not terrible. We did just get Watts, which is actually pretty darn decent. That's actually very, very good. Uh, Manifest seems like a, we should do that, but... Of course, I read this before, so if you write Manifest, please go ahead. Watts, I think, is just better overall. But we're going to go with lore-wise. We're going to go with Manifest anyways. Thank you very much. And I love drugs. Ah, but my kind of bozos. Look at that. The White Birch Society. Now, these are my kind of people. It's why I funded Pleasantdale in the first place. We're all here to have a good time, whether it is in golfing, in the countryside, or shooting up some big stag in the middle of nowhere. That is why we have Pleasantdale. John's a good man, a rich a-hole, but who isn't around here? If you want compassion, go to the slums in Dundurn or Toboggan's Crazy House. We're a city that runs on pleasure. It's what we do. Otherwise, the White Birch Club is your friend. Is that why we're here? Ooh, they're actually attacking us here already. Now, can we hold out? Ooh, he might be able to hold out. Yeah, I like the green. Green is good. And they're throwing more divisions in. I think we'll do the same. This is how it's going to get really the crap beaten out of it. But, hopefully, it gets us even more army XP. Just toy with them. And please, no one else try to attack us as well. And so we've lost three versus a 138, which is good. 
Let them recover a little bit more, and maybe they'll start attacking us. Now, I do want to save up political power a little bit. We don't mind doing war propaganda, um, and a few other things through here and whatnot. But, I do want to save up for political power, so we can have better core creation costs. Now, this one that I want to do down here, it's only 5% better core creation costs, but at this point, I need every single little bit that helps. So, eh, party planning is to support. Okay, that's not good. We already gave you territory. How much more do you want? Oh. Go ahead and take it. Well, it sucks that we had to give up all this stuff. We lost the core as well. But hopefully they don't start attacking us soon. I mean, that does increase... It did increase the border size that we have with them. But it gives us time to even make us bigger and bigger and bigger. Because at this point... Oh! Look at this. Fantastic. Um, it's just what we have to do. There's nothing, no way around it. And, of course, battlefield scavenging. And the fineries of rich society. Good. And John Smith's club here. So save the political power for now. Command. Do, 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 do. Anything that we really want. Civvies are nice, but if we're going to do civvies, I'd rather get three civvies at a time. Such as working the pumps. With the water back up and running, we need folks to make sure it gets where it needs to go, after all. If we can't get across the city, what was the point of fixing it in the first place? And sure, a great bargaining chip. Uh, wonders of the Red Fern now afar. The Red Fern is a source of our greatest exports and our greatest treasure. If we gave it up, then who would be monopolizing this? We would sooner burn it all down than see it in the hands of our foes. And approaching inner city architects. Maxwell Chase's interesting philosophies attracted many aged and jaded architects to the Manitoba monarchy. Why don't we poke them for what they can do? 802, look at that. Have they lost any more, please? Yes, no? Okay. Well, if that's the case... You know what? Actually, I want to see this. Because it says for robots... front line robots include super heavy robots, but it has the F there for fairy. So it does include fairies or not. You know what? Just in case, we're going to do this one anyways, because we're still going to continue using uh, light special forces no matter what. So we'll get there eventually. Try to play attackers would be nice. We just need more... We need so many more factories. It's not funny. Um, so do that there too. But once we start coring a lot of stuff, we should be fine. Get some more manpower. If they're not going to start continue attacking, we're just going to do this too. Infantry's weak. Good. And then we're just going to start beating the crap out of them because we got to start doing stuff like this. Now, Safe Haven's getting the crap beaten out of it, which is nice. Very good. Now we can start coring some stuff here. I could have earlier, but whatever. Uh, Civvies, yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll do this one first. So we got to start coring stuff. 2,000, 6,000, 49 is not bad. Core Stoon, yes. Core this since it's already a war, and that should really pump us up a little bit more. Make us a little stronger here. Good. And go in, go in. See what you can do. Um, fairies, equipment capture ratio, idiot savant. You know what? Capture more. I never use that one. And you're attacking there, which I don't approve, but if you have two divisions doing that, you might do better, maybe. Perhaps. Oh. Interesting choice they made. Well, it's good for uh, Army XP for this. It's going to hurt our organization, but still. Good. Okay, look at that. Soningdale. Go there, you can cut these guys off. We can take Big R. But still. Beautiful. A, another division. Another ferry division. Fantastic. Radio's good, too. Ooh, Dockyard, finally. Nice. Very good. 44 army XP is very nice too. Uh, how about you guys go here? Oh darn, they caught us. Those darn whippersnappers caught us. Go there. Go to Battleford. Because after this, once Safe Haven's done, um, we got a lot of enemies on every single front. Oh, they're killing each other down here, too. Ooh, that's actually really good. A Republic of Three Rivers is doing okay. Actually, if they do that, that might actually spare us maybe a little bit. Oops. Oops, I don't get raided. Oh, bad. You'd be Special Forces, so Sniper, yes. Overall, not too bad. Working the pumps. Frequency analysis. Sure. 
Uh, hunting good game. The Lactor have shown no short of beasts. No shortage of beasts. From the shoot of the various umbervores trickling out of the manifest north. Hunting them would be a great amount of fun and tourism to the city. The Wadena Winery. The Wadena Winery has long been since a staple Pleasantdale. Who doesn't remember the first sip of that fiery mute fruit wine? Uh, offer incent work incentives. The workmen of Pleasantdale are under the impression that the city cares more for its rich than its poor. Well, they aren't wrong, and this isn't Dundurn, so we're willing to listen to everyone we can. Let's see what they want and make it clear that the communication channel is open. Guns, 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 guns. The best deterrent for a man with a gun is more men with guns. We love guns here. Who doesn't love guns? Wrong people, that's right. Keep them in place. You know what? Go there. And circle them. Kill them. You know, the normal stuff. More fairies? Yes, please. We need bodies for the line. Tribute due to middle mark. Uh. If we do that. Um. How strong are they? You know what, this time? I would give him tribute. Does that hurt us at all? You know what, I'll give him tribute. We're gonna play this smart politically. And financially, we'll be fine. We still have Stoons, so I'm not super worried about it. And we got the Cab Vultures. This is the first time in, in this type of campaign where I've actually had to push west instead of the other direction. Oh, well, Safe Haven's still alive. That, we can't have that. They actually peace out. Look at that. I didn't realize they could peace out like that. No. You guys do this. Until the Kingdom of Manitoba comes back for more and tries to kill us. And we're back. Now, trying to beat the crap out of Safe Haven, but they only have... Well, they have up to three to four divisions. They've already capitulated once, so they're going to capitulate again because this is not even one of their cores. But that did give us a now land border again with the Iron Confederacy, so we can beat them up as well. So, you know, go figure. They're just here, just here to beat people up, so. Uh, but this time against these guys, we actually have uh, anti-tank. So, and I've been slowly increasing the size of our special forces, slowly increasing the size of the fairies, you know. So we should fare a little better this time. The robots, not so much. Well, hopefully we fare a little better. Of course, they have three divisions there, but yeah, look at that. Oh, we still can't pierce them, but we're getting closer. It's getting better. We've got guns, 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 guns. Could get more attack. Um, no, we'll offer work incentives first. And it looks like we're doing quite well. A lot of green is good. Green is good. Red, not so much, but green is better. Extraction. Don't need to do as much, much extraction. Um, now we'll piss them off a little bit. Here a little ahead of time. We're still doing this very, very good. And since we're fighting them anyways, go and get some more anti tank piercing. Interesting maneuver. Forcing defense on the power armor, huh? Looking good. But it's time to core more stuff. Is it? 11,000 is pretty decent. You know what? We'll keep paying them. It's not very much. And honestly, it works out for us. That one's not too bad to do. This is more manpower. Another ooh, another fairy, good. You know what, if that's the case, we're gonna start working this way too. Hello. Fast metabolism? Sure, but why not? Matthew Ector, fall of Nerino, goodbye Nerino. Not bad, and happy July, everybody. Oh, they're still killing the Metis Congress up there, look at that. Day of Infamy. Uh, stability, political power, it's not bad, I like it, but since we're here, Tales of the Unbound, Raiders on Wings, ridiculous but amazing, we must ride as they do, Caps will speak wonders. Force division, very nice. Very, very good. Oh. Uh, yeah. Expanding the yard. With a great many creatures pushed out or hunted, we can focus once again on development. Huzzah! Uh, yeah. You know what? Washed out from Dundrum. Gloria Chase and I were good friends, though she, well, she wasn't a fan of me and Maxwell's relationship by the end of everything. Still, she had a lot of share. And boy, I'm going to get every last little bit of it from her and Rosewood. Another fairy, fantastic. Let's go in. A 
losses, 445, so we've got half the losses of the enemy, which is good. Still not enough fairy power, and what do we got here? Immune recovery, breakthrough, better reinforce rate, sure, why not? Ooh, they're trying to stop us here, eh? Not ideal. Not ideal. With all that bit of power, though, comes more corn. Very nice. Enter dust us down, fall, expand the yard. Yes, please. 1200. How much more manpower do they have? None! Good to see. Very good to see for us. Air Doctrine. Uh, thank you. So if we do that. Go. Fairy patrols. No, so it doesn't work on. It. That kind of sucks. I don't lie. That actually really sucks. Okay, it's fine. We'll keep doing that for now. Oh, the old believers are still fighting them back too. Look at that. The Metis Congress not doing so well. Hey, good to see them doing that. Kill their divisions off. Yes, please. A little more defense. Yes. Fine tools. Nice. Oh, are they... Oh, look at that. They changed their flag. They're... Kanata, I think. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool. Another fairy. Good. Spanning the yard. Uh, upgrading fae. Uh, the fairies aren't perfect, sadly. I can do a lot of things to make them be more deadly and horrifying. See? Watch. Very nice. And then enemies on every side. Well, mm, washed off from Dundurn. Yep. And then followed up with pushing for pleasantries or pleasantness. Just like my old manifest directives mentioned, a pleasant society is a profitable one. And they're really pushing hard for this fairy stuff, aren't they? Out of manpower, and we got less less to support for now. Corning cost would be a little bit higher here, not ideal. Old believers are doing very well. Look at that! Oh my God! Are you? Don't tell me! Oh, you're actually allied. Oh, that sucks for us. So basically, we have to go to Middlemark next, or Lloyd's Ministry. One of those two. Now, don't get me wrong, we're still doing quite well here, but uh, life giver recover faster, I guess. At this point. Make them thick. Make them the way God intended. I like 20 combo weights. Nice. Um, this one. What do we have here? Lessons of the past, recovery and faster, better experience soldiers' losses, or more XP gain and coordination. Coordination's not bad. Amount of damage dealt to primary targets in combat. So would we rather recover faster and basically save more manpower? Or would we rather better coordination? I like the coordination idea a lot. Um, but lessons of the past, uh, I want better recovery rate and 30% better soldiers' losses. That's almost roughly a third more manpower, maybe, potentially. So. I kind of have to go that way. And if I do infantry, that's not considered infantry. It's just called su super units. Walking infantry. Yeah, does it consider infantry? No, it doesn't. No, that's what I thought. For now, yes. That's fine. Yeah. Better consumer goods. 
That'd be nice. Very good. Rack it up. Still can't pierce them, unfortunately. And they have an intel advantage as well. 800 versus 5,500, that's pretty good. Come on, we'll get in there. Just throwing bodies at him at this point. We have 62 factors, that's actually not bad. Washed up from Dundurn. Potion for Pleasantness. Very good. More progress here. I gotta just kill off that. A special armor power division. Good. And then what do we have here? A accurate radiation exposure. That seems pretty darn good. Versus efficient exposure methods. Nikon infantry, Nikon infantry, behemoths. Well, that is up with nobody. You get more special forces with minimum capacity. And mobilization speed, so this one's obviously accurate radiation exposure is the better deal for us. Probably gonna need to raise conscription level 2 next. We definitely could use more piercing. Oh my god. There you go. Should be able to pierce this one pretty easily. There you go. See? That's what I thought. Well, we got him eventually. It's one heck of a workaround to get to them, but you know, whatever. Really, the only next group we can take out is these guys. How big are the miscounts? These be middle mark? Uh, 30, 38, 2,000 manpower. Not ideal. Um, have we had enough time to core this up up here in the north, though? That's a real question. We're getting there. 59, 53. Ooh, actually, it's doing, yeah. 70. Battle for, I thought we'd have more manpower. Of course, we get more conscription from up there, too. Um. Yeah, that wouldn't be good to do, too. New Citizen's Care Package might not be bad. How much money do we have? You know, I'll do that one, too. That'd be ideal. Pleasantdale as Maxwell intended. Before his unfortunate passing, Maxwell dreamed of a truly prosperous Pleasantdale. We have fulfilled the dream with great earnest. Greenwater Airfield. Following the example set by the Unbound, we'll create our own airfield. Let's go, H2O going. Securing the rest of the pumps has allowed us to grow water distribution across the electorate and mass. No doubt this will be beneficial for all of us. Enemies in every state. We're surrounded by people who want us dead. Even my sister wants all of this to herself. Now, I love her, but I just don't know all, qu quite about that sort of plan, you know. And eventually, economy fit for Pleasantdale. Would any regular economy fit the people of Pleasantdale? Obviously not, which is why a prosperous economy is a nest. Is economy fit for Pleasantdale. Are we on the line? Yeah, we're good to go. Spreading pleasantness to the electorate. Let's be real, the people of Dunder and Stoon has only known smoke, dirt, and smog their entire lives. Uh, now they get experience and joy of pleasantness, all things to hope. And Manifest Saskatchewan, back online. Uh, Manifest Saskatchewan is back online at full swing, no more secrecy. And with it, our old puzzle pieces fall into place. Hee <laughs> hee. Actually, with friends like these. So we really still need to kill off all these guys, and we get cores eventually. Manitoba, few sleeper agents, core on Brandon, Republic of Three Rivers. A few extra cores here and there. Eastern Marches, Dam Array. Yeah, um, it is what it is. Are they raiding us yet? No. What else do we just find them? How long is it going to take? That's probably going to take a while. Another 30 days, so. I think I might just end the episode here. We've done decently. We're not doing great, but we're doing well. Overall, uh, just where we can find opportunities sometimes is a little not easy. And we're going to core more stuff. We'll make ourselves bigger, stronger, faster. You know, all the good stuff, so. If you enjoyed the second episode of us playing as Manifest Hope, working all the way around everybody, please consider leaving a like, it helps me out, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue to see what we can do in the Great White North. Thanks for watching, and have a great, hopeful rest of your day.